So you're thinking about that Titex T1X? What comes with it? What does not? You don't know? I got answers. This is Uncivilized Health, guys. My name is Chris, and today we're going to be talking about the standard accessories and the not-so-standard accessories. Let's roll right into it. Starting off, this is going to be one of your main pads. Up here, you're going to be using this uh, mainly as a seat for whether it's on the bench or whether it's on the uh, back for you know like leg curls or something like that. So you'll see that piece of equipment a lot. It is a little bit heavy getting it on and off, so uh, just be careful. And sometimes, you know, uh, someone who's lighter in stature might need a little bit of help taking it on and off. So this is one thing to keep in mind there. Um, right down here, this is going to be. Uh, like for your leg curls and uh, things of that nature, you've seen that as well. Um, you do have things like for your lap pull down, uh, knee support over here. This is just a, a seat that you've seen probably on the fly station. Uh, we've seen it a couple other places. A lot of these are very versatile and used in many different exercises. You have these over here, these pads are for your shoulders, so you can go up and down like the Smith machine. Uh, it looks like you know, over here also, those are for your shoulders. You can also use it as a as a dip station if you wanted to and on the back uh, you see over here that's for you know like your leg leg support i actually use this piece of equipment a lot actually for abs i hang it off the back center of the machine and i do a lot of crunches and fully uh, fully hanging it really does a great job there and the last pad that you're going to see guys is actually over here on the back of the fly station that's just for your back support so you're not resting on metal when you're going backwards or forwards so that covers the pads. Let's take a look at actually some of the, uh, the handles and stuff that comes with it. All right, guys. Well, I just wanted to put everything laid out on the floor so we can get through this quickly and efficiently so you can see everything that's coming standard here in terms of handles. So moving left to right across the screen, I just wanted to show you the angled bicep and tricep bar and, and the straight version of that, um, which the straight version also used for rowing and also rotates with you as you do your curls. So those are very great. Uh, you have your close grip, lat pull down, back bar, you use that a lot. Uh, your Smith machine handles, you use that for everything from bench to deadlift to you name it. Uh, that's what those will be used for on the Smith machine. You have your multiple multi-purpose uh, handles there at the top that you're going to use, whether it's for hand support or uh, maybe actually support for one of the other attachments that you may consider. At the bottom, you have two cable crossovers, whether it's for upper or lowers, you're going to get two of those. You're gonna have uh, two foot plates, obviously, for your leg press, so there you go. Uh, safety support, you're gonna be doing any free weights, you're gonna be really happy you have those so you don't hurt yourself. You have another uh, weight support bar for additional weight plates, so whether you're wanting to add a load onto those leg presses or you wanna do some leg curls, that's where that attachment's gonna go. And then finally, we have some pull-up bars, uh, and some dip bars uh, over there on the right side of the screen. You're gonna be utilizing those probably most every day that you come out here. So those bars all the way to the right, uh, the dip bars, you're gonna be seeing a lot uh, of use, whether it's for that or for uh, using on the Smith machine or um, just whatever. I mean, there really is, they utilize this across the Titex T1X and a lot of different exercises. All right, guys, we have two pieces of equipment that we're going to be using quite a lot. And this is the uh, Smith Machine Bar. If you're a fan of the Smith Machine, maybe you're not. But if you are, the handles that go on each side, this actually connects to them. So you actually have one bar. So you can do everything from, you know, shoulder work to bench press. So that's what that's for. And here's your lat pull-down bar. This thing is solid metal, guys. Really, all of these accessories and handles are really top-notch. So don't worry about that at all. Um, but this can be stored up here as well. Uh, I just put these in the video, you get four safety clips, you know, safety first if you have kids. Uh, I know mine, for example, like to play with the weights and I clip these on whenever I can just to make sure that they don't fall. So that's that right there. I think that about covers it uh, for all of these standard accessories. Let's talk a little bit about some of the not so standard accessories. So you saw everything that was standard. Let's talk about the not so standard. Um, first things first, pretty much everything you need is going to come with this thing, guys, except for your weights. Um, the Olympic bar, which you kind of saw in the video, that is not a standard piece of equipment. I think through Titex, it was listed at $199 for me. 
and uh, the cr easy curl bar is I think like 110 for me. So something you want to check on uh, when you're considering this video. Uh, those are not standard in any of the videos. You have to pay for those separate. As far as the weight plates, those weight plates are not standard. But in terms of things, they're just little extras that I wanted to purchase as soon as I got this machine. Um, it's just, you know, for neck support when I'm doing squats, got to have one of these. So that was the first thing. Uh, second thing is just a, a belt. Obviously, you're doing stuff out here uh, by yourself. So always get support if you can. And three, I personally, when I'm doing like triceps or biceps, I always like to have a rope. Um, so I got one of these off of Amazon. If you want to link to any of those three, uh, you can find it down below. I like personally the red and black. I just went with the machine, looked good, and relatively inexpensive. I think it was like 15, 20 bucks max. So there's two different sizes of them. But outside of that, pretty much guys, everything that you will need for this machine is you're gonna have. So most likely you probably already have some weight plates at home. If not, you know where to get them. So uh, one thing about the weight plates, guys, they are not the standard size. Now they do have the standard like hole to put them on uh, to utilize the machine. It's a two inch uh, diameter hole, but uh, the weight plates are slightly smaller, a little bit thicker. Uh, so just something to keep in mind there. Well, it's a wrap on this video today, guys. If you do have any additional comments, please leave them down below and, and like this video. Also, you can find me on Instagram. DM me. If you have questions, hopefully I have answers for you. I know what it's like to be in your shoes and be wondering about this machine and need somebody to bounce things off of. So make sure you find me. Second thing is, guys, subscribe down below. If you want to see future content, you got to hit that button. All right, so without further ado, guys, this is Uncivilized Health. My name is Chris, and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video.